Good morning. Here is the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of March 27th, 2023. Here is an update on everything that is reopening in the Ding Darling National Refuge. On April 4th, it will reopen the gate to the Wildlife Drive for the first time with the Sanibel Captiva Islands Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting ceremony at 9.30 a.m. The refuge's visitor and education center and Bailey Track will also reopen that day. The observation tower on Wildlife Drive suffered little damage from the storm and it will be accessible as of April 4th, along with a section of the Indigo Trail, the Wildlife Education Boardwalk, and Wolfert Key Trail. Fishing and paddlecraft launching spots on Wildlife Drive will also reopen and narrated tram tours will reopen with only um, tours on Tuesday and Thursday for now. The wildlife drive hours will start on Saturday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Entrance fees remain the same, $10 for vehicles, $1 for pedestrians and cyclists older than 15. Along with the exhibit area in the center, the Refuge Nature Store will be open on Saturday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The, auditor the auditoriums and classrooms will remain closed until further notice. Facilities also to remain closed will include part of the Indigo Trail between the Center and Wildlife Drive, the Main Grove Overlook, and the Calusa Shell Mound Trail. Staff continues cleanup efforts in those areas with the help of volunteers. No reopening dates have been set for these facilities. At the Tarpon Bay Recreation Area, the Tarpon Bay Explorers Recreation Concession is offering limited facilities, rentals, and tours. Hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday with last rentals issued at 3 p.m. Guided kayaking tours of the Commodore Creek Trail are available on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Thanks for listening.